Neptune has one major moon called Triton, and all its other satellites are small and can be described as inner or outer moons depending on how close or far away they are from Neptune. The inner moons orbit the planet's equatorial plane among several faint rings composed of dust and ice particles. The outer moons travel in widely tilted and retrograde orbits far away from Neptune. Many astronomers and scientists think that Neptune's inner moons didn't form with Neptune, but were instead the debris from Triton that slowly built up together. Naid was first discovered sometime before mid-September 1989 from the images taken by the Voyager 2 space probe. This tiny potato-shaped moon wasn't found by astronomers again until 2013 when scientists used a different technique on the Hubble Space Telescope to reduce Neptune's glare, making the moon pop out. The Lhasa is unusual for an irregular moon because it's roughly shaped like a disk. It has an orbit that will eventually fall into Neptune, and its debris might affect its neighboring moon Despina. Despina and Galtea are found within Neptune's rings and act as shepherd moons, keeping Neptune's inner rings in shape. Larissa was spotted from Earth in 1981, but it wasn't confirmed until 1989 when a Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by. The moon has an asteroid-like body covered in craters, and like the Lhasa, its orbit is slowly moving closer to Neptune and will eventually crash into the planet. S-2004 N1 was discovered in 2013 after analyzing old images from the Hubble Space Telescope. It's only 19 kilometers in diameter. Proteus was the first of the inner moons to be found by the Voyager 2 scientists. It is the largest of the inner moons and has an almost circular crater 255 kilometers across. The moon has a gray, irregular, but roughly spheroid shape with many craters. If it was just a bit bigger, its gravity would pull the moon's shape closer to a sphere. It orbits around Neptune in less than 27 hours, and it reflects only 6% of the sunlight hitting it, making it one of Neptune's darker moons. Triton was the first of Neptune's moons to be discovered just 17 days after the planet was announced. It was discovered by William Lassell, an amateur astronomer who used the profits from his brewery to fund his passion for astronomy. He designed and built the finest large reflecting telescopes during his time and used the coordinates published in the Times to locate Neptune. On October 10, 1846, he found Neptune's biggest moon using the 24-inch reflecting telescope at his observatory in Liverpool, England. Almost all of what we know now about Triton comes from a single flyby mission of the Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989, 143 years after its discovery. It travels the opposite way around the planet compared to Neptune's other moons and is gradually being pulled towards the planet. In less than 100 million years, Triton will only be a few thousand miles from Neptune and will be torn apart by tidal forces. Some of its pieces will crash into the planet and others might form a new system of rings. Its surface temperature is negative 240 degrees Celsius and it is one of the four moons in the solar system known to have an atmosphere. Its icy surface is geologically young and has a few craters, linear grooves and ridges. It's nicknamed a cantaloupe after its resemblance to a melon skin. Near it was discovered on May 1, 1949, by the Dutch astronomer Gerard Kuiper. It has a highly eccentric and inclined orbit, which takes the moon out as far as 9.5 million kilometers from Neptune to within 818,000 kilometers at its closest. Seo, Halimidi, Niso, and Leomedia were discovered in 2002. This was the first time a Neptunian moon discovery had occurred by an Earth-based telescope since the discovery of Nereid in 1949. These moons are so small and distant 
that little is known about them besides their orbits. The moons were missed by the Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989 because they are so faint and distant from Neptune. Seo and Laomedea have prograde orbits while Halimede and Niso have retrograde orbits. Samethi was found a year later in 2003 and has a somewhat similar orbit as Niso. Its orbit is the largest for any moon discovered in the solar system so far. It takes 26 Earth years to make a single orbit around Neptune and is 125 farther than how our moon orbits away from Earth. Neptune has 14 moons and 6 of the 7 inner moons were discovered by the Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989. Out of the Voyager 2's 6 discoveries, all except for Tias orbit Neptune in less time than it takes the planet to rotate. Given its distance from the Sun, the only mission to ever study Neptune and its moons up close was the Voyager 2 mission. Further close-up observations of Neptune's moons would likely require another spacecraft but wouldn't get to Neptune until the 2030s, about 50 years after the Voyager 2's flyby. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.